In this video here, we'd like to talk about three of the most common quantities in all of electronics, voltage, current, resistance, and power. And the reason why we emphasize this and maybe make a whole video about it is because they're very different quantities, but in everyday electronics, people tend to use them interchangeably, but they're just not the same thing. And you'll find it as we get to Ohm's law in a couple of videos, they are very different. So let me introduce the quantities uh, by way of analogy here. One of the most common ways of doing this, and I'm borrowing this diagram here from a book by Banzi, the inventor of the Arduino. A very good way of understanding these three quantities and why they're different is to use a water pump analogy like this here. So in this case here, there's a water pump. And what happens, this could be electrical or mechanical. This is a mechanical one in this case here. That, when the lever is pushed on or cranked, generates some pressure and pushes water from the reservoir down here through the pipe. And the water will flow along like this and sort of come out of this uh, spigot right here. and can turn a water wheel and go back down around again to the pump. So it can, as long as the pump is on or someone's pumping, the water will continue to flow and the water wheel will continue to spin. So when you think about what's going on here, there are three different quantities even in this water pump example right here. There's the pressure of the pump, the flow of the water, and the so-called resistance of the pipes right here because as the water would like to flow freely, but it can't, it's constrained to be on the inside of a pipe. And so these sort of this diameter pipe was sort of chosen for this particular circuit of water, but a very large diameter pipe could have been chosen also, in which case the water would be able to flow more freely here. So if I wanted to label the pictures on this diagram, just like electronics here, this would be sort of like the voltage right here in, a, in an electrical circuit. In other words, the pressure of the water pump is sort of like the voltage in an electrical circuit. The voltage is responsible for pushing electrons, where in this case here, the pump is responsible for pushing water. The resistance here, as I mentioned, would be the pipes themselves, these devices right here. So we can sort of write this here as devices, if you will. Anytime you try to push water through a water carrying device, like a pipes or some other contraption that uses water, you'll be presented with some resistance. And for instance, pipe that looks something like this will have a much larger resistance, say, than pipes that are much bigger like this because the water is more constricted to flow right here, where here it has more uh, sort of area here to flow through, so it'd be less constricted. So you, we can have even different resistances in pipe. But in either case, you're trying to push the water through something and you have to use pipe to contain it. The pipe has some resistance. So you see the voltage or the pressure and the resistance are very different. And of course, the easy one, the last one right here would be the current. That's usually given the symbol I in electronics. And the current would be the flow here of water in the pipes. So you see, it would be very incorrect to just start to interchange the terms voltage, current, and resistance. Because you can see, even in the simple, wa simple water pump analogy, they're very different. And just to review one more time, voltage is like the pressure. So you need a pump to get water to flow. Well, you need voltage to get the current to flow. And of course, the flow itself, it could be water flow in the pipes. It'll be current in electrical wires or devices. And of course, any real device that tries to contain the flow will have some resistance, whether it's a water pipe, a varying diameter, or a piece of wire, or a photocell, or some of those components that we discussed in an earlier video. So there you go right there are three different examples of voltage, current, and resistance. We do have this last one on the sheet here, which is power, and that's even a different quantity in itself. The best we can say here for mechanical power would probably be the rate of the wheel right here, the rate that this wheel, this water wheel would be turning here, would very much be related to the power. So the faster the wheel turns, the more power, say, is being delivered by the water. Likewise, say, maybe the brighter a light bulb was on or a faster an electrical motor turns, more electrical power would be delivered to the motor. So it really is incorrect to use these terms interchangeably. And if you ever get confused, just refer back to this water analogy here and you can see the pressure, the flow, the resistance, and the power all play different roles. They're not interchangeable, so we'll, we'll try to keep those straight as we go through our video series.